Hey YouTube, Mike and Judy here today. I hope we all had a very safe and productive week. All right, this week, I'm tripping all over my wood here. Uh, this week, what we're doing is we are doing a project together, Judy and I. It is a desk, and if you go back about a year and a half or so ago, I built this vanity for Judy for her room in, in, in her condo. And now she's moving and she wants to convert this vanity into a desk. But what she wants to do is epoxy, paint the whole thing to, uh, you know, for a new color and epoxy the top. So we're going to be doing this video together, this project together, um, converting this vanity into a desk. So I laminated the top already, which is poplar. We, I did one sanding, but we're going to do another. We're going to drill a two-inch hole so she can get her computer wires through. The one leg on the left side of the desk, and then the carcass with the two drawers, that is going to be painted, but the top is going to be epoxied. All right, and then that we'll get into uh, later on in the video. All right, so basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up so we can drill our two-inch hole, get that set, uh, do a sanding, do a cleaning, and we're going to do the first coat of white because she wants to marbleize it. So we're going to paint this top white and then let it dry for a couple of days and then we'll get into doing the epoxy. Alrighty, so we're going to be using a bunch of power tools. So again, shop safety. If you're going to be using any type of cutting, drilling, sanding, safety glasses, I wear mine all the time. Judy has a pair of her own. And of course, if we're going to use any type of machinery, hearing protection. Alright, so let's make a little very fine sawdust. All right, Judy, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up what I tripped over okay. to drill this hole. So we know you want it in the center, so this thing will cover the center. Take these two pieces of wood, put one there and one there, just to level this off like that. Okay? Now, take our clamps. Clamp this down. Okay, now. Inches. Could you reach underneath there and get that pencil? That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Thank you, fine. Put your glasses on. We are true. All right, Judy, the vacuum is already plugged in. Just turn it on and vacuum this whole area there. Okay. Judy, give me the... Um, electrical uh yeah that this? Okay. yeah we're going to be using white but just want to make sure it will fit nice in there yeah i only had black and she needs white so you can just put that back there okay 
Judy, just push this green button. It'll go forward all the way, and then you kind of fish it through the hole. If it wants to come out. You got to go like over this way, and then out. Oh, okay. Tell me that. Okay, you can take out the wood. All right, let's throw it. You could just throw it over there in the corner. <clears throat> All right. Are you going to take this sander? We're using 180 grit. And you're going to go in this direction, Judy. Just back and forth, back and forth. This way. Yep, just back and forth this way, with the grain. Judy got, it's, I already had it sanded and we just needed, because I had polyurethane that I don't want to leave the polyurethane on it. So now we're going to give it a vacuum, tack cloth, wipe it down with some hand towels, dry it, put the drop cloth down, set it up, and then we're going to do the first coat of paint. All right, Judy. on there and then we're gonna clean the yeah. triangle things right there.
put them in the back. Doesn't matter where, it could be. Okay, now take that and wipe off the whole. Those are shop towels, hand towels. Takes the grease, takes the dust off. We actually use them to take fingerprints off walls when we're working on the job sites. That direction. We'll be back. All right, we got the first coat on the leg and the top. Got the hole drilled, it all sanded down. We gotta do a couple of coats. And um, then uh, we'll be back for the epoxy. It's resin time. This is the resin, that's the hard thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do it? Yeah, you can. 12 ounces. We do have a lot. I think 16. Okay, well, if you have to mix more, you will. Remember, we are pouring it into the yeah, we won't need as much for the marbleizing, but okay. Um, or do you need a bigger? Do you want to stir it? I'll do it. You okay. cover. It's not as white as last time, because mm -hmm. I told you to store it in there. Okay, 
sorry, let me stir that. So I already put the silver and the black in there. And because we have extra white, um, I'm gonna make this a little brighter. Scraping the sides. Mm -hmm. Was that two minutes? Feels all right. Okay. Feels. So we'll pour a little bit in here. Pour a little bit in there. Yeah. How much? Um. Well, how much do you think we'll need? Like this is for mobilizing it. Yeah. I would say two. Okay. Down here? Yeah. Same thing, two? Yeah. Um. This is what we're using. It's like artist. They say it's the same thing as tabletop resin. Well, that's the hardener. That's just gonna be plain resin in case we need it. Do you I think I should just mix a little bit more of this. You think so? Yeah. I should mix a little bit more resin.
You know I love that denatured alcohol. Okay, so this is what we're putting the white in. Should yes. we pour more to have more resin just in case or? No, I think in? we should have enough there. Okay. More than enough. Wow, they're right. Takes the resin right off. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to, can you put the white in so that I could, cause yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one doing it with my hands. You just. How much? Um, just do like a stick full, just a little bit and then stir it. Yeah, that should be good. Put it in there and stir it. I got it on the stick, man. Oh. Well, whatever. Use, there you go. That was white paint. Ac um, acrylic. It was acrylic latex paint. Mix in with the resin. You want to have water-based paints. <clears throat> we already prepped this, painted it, sanded it, painted it. As you can see, the carcass, the drawers are over there. The legs all done. Did you get tweezers? Um, yeah, I can get tweezers. Okay, and the heat gun. The heat gun is okay. All right, just pour it on. Yeah. So Ready? Gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna do a lot. Oh, okay. He. That's not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You, uh, should have been more, okay. Yeah. resin in here. For what? For the roller. Okay. Well that's the um oh yeah that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. And that should be just clear resin, right? Uh yeah I'm pretty sure that's what they said. You need all this? Um, no, I shouldn't. This is going to be resin that we're going to put inside of a paint tray for the roller so that the roller absorbs the resin and it doesn't absorb the resin off of the um, tabletop. So you're kind of like preloading your uh, roller. A lot of cups, a lot of sticks. We made coasters too. Tried out some coasters. I got some silicon molds I bought. And what is that? One's a hexagon, one's a. Oh, the geo shape? Yeah, and one is square. like. Square. One's square, one's uh, like a hexagon shape, and then another one almost looks like um, a tree branch that you cut. It's all like jagged edges. It's pretty cool. I'll bring them out. We'll show them to you. Um, gotta get used to kind of mixing colors, but they come out nice. They come out really nice. A little bit of sanding to make the bottoms flat. There's a recess on them to prevent the drink from sliding off. And they're strong as could be. Okay. I think this one will be better.
All right, this is ready. And these were the pigments. Luxy Mica Pigment. Whole box. All different colors. Blacks, greens, blues, grays. Here. There you go. Look at all those colors. Just a tad. You gotta add to it. And it will. Yeah. So this was, I think, gray that she mixed like a stick full. And it turns it that color. Um, dad tweezers. What's that? Tweezers. Tweezers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have any. I got them. She's picking out any little hairs or fuzz. Oh crap, I didn't. What? Um, can you give me a stick to this? No, it's just this side, the resin didn't come over. Now you're gonna marbleize? Yes. Okay, we'll start with the gray first. This one? The gray, that's black. This is gray. Okay, let's see what happens. So he just went like, you wanna start? Like he said, it's, it's nature. Nature is all different, so it really doesn't matter. Go slowly. I don't think you have to do it that fast. I'm sorry, I got on the floor. That one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now roll it. Um, yeah, well, not completely done, but. Roll right over the. Yeah, so like lightly. Yeah, so like. It, yeah, you want to go like that. Like that? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, don't go over it too much. See, you're like, you don't want to go, you just want to lightly do it so like it doesn't go away. So you just want to do it once and then go over it. Well, I guess, I don't know, I can't remember if he did it before or after because we still need to do the black. That looks good right there. That looks like a piece of marble. Yeah, that looks pretty. Yeah, see, as you can see, like they did say that it's the marks are gonna go away, like the roller marks, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, they actually good. went away. Yeah. They went away. You just. 
Alright, well, let me try to block. Yeah, you can do it. Well, we can also roll back. That's a little. I think it's the pull out. You can do that. precise with it. That's cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. It is coming out. I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, for the first time, say a little blotchy on some of those spots, but hey, it's marble. With the rolling, it, it's not looking blotchy anymore. It's looking more uh -huh. marbleized. Oh, this is looking so cool. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. It does. It looks like a white piece of marble now. Honestly, I was like sweating. I was worried how this is going to come out. A. Hey. Oh, this is so cool. And you can see it just self levels itself. It like disappears, the roller marks. Now, what about the edges? The edges we gotta roll separately. Um, because they're yeah. they're definitely blotchy. Yeah, we it's like drips we'll probably, of paint. Yeah, um, I guess once we're done with it, we'll just go over, like just with plain resin. Kind of like what we're doing yeah, now. That, well, the white because we have that thing of white left. We have the thing of white. Oh yeah. Um, also, so we have another, well this... We need some black right here. Um, yeah. Just a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, just like... What they also did was, with the white, it's because it's brighter, they put like white spots in there so it like would kind of come up and it would go over like some of the black. I'll tell you, if you do guys do this, denatured alcohol, it takes that resin right off your hands and it evaporates off your hands pretty quick. You got any cuts, be prepared, but it takes it right off. Oh. What? Uh, I think, is that a hair or is that the gray? Bubbles. No, there was a... No, that's gray. Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hair. I mean, this right here looks like marble. Right here, in between these, looks mm -hmm. like marble. Okay, now it was great. Uh, it looks like a hair, I'm just not sure. This was the white. Do you want to put, um, like, see, like, here more 
um, white, because that's what he did, was just like put a blob of white. And this like, right here? Yeah. Well, like around, there you go. Like, so like that? Yeah. And where else? Um, like kind of do it like we were just at marbleized, so like white goes over it. Yeah, go like wild like I did before. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. And we're also going to do, um, like I want to do a, a warm metallic, oh, you put the resin away, I mean the paint away. I want that um, metallic silver in one of those. It was like a bright silver because I want to put silver in this too to make it like sparkle. What was it called? It was, I think it was metallic. Keep going. It should be this one. Yeah. It'll look pretty. And where do you want to put it? In which um, one? I guess, do we need this? No. Okay, put it in there. Yeah, well she did, like she did a piping, but I don't really care about the piping. Do you think I should roll over the white or should I leave the white like this? Leave the white like that. I like it, yeah, I think it looks good. That looks really cool. Super excited how this coming out. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit just. Yeah, it's looking good, Daddy O. All right, same thing? Yeah, just, well, let's try to put it like on the veins a little more. So like, over, right over the veins? Yeah, like we can go a little on, but like kind of on the veins so it has more of like a sparkly. We'll do that first and kind of see. Don't do it. Uh, let me just see how it is. Hold on. Okay, stop from there. I just want to see how I like it. How do you think it looks? It turn gray or black again. What do you mean? You don't see it? I see it, but I... Yeah, it's not as, like, sparkly as, like, they, they have. Uh, well, actually, I'm kind of... Can you see the blue? I kind of like it. All right. Yeah, can you Do see it from here? I know, but, like, that it has, like, a different kind of blue, like, what's supposed to be. You want to like continue? It. Um, yeah, here, you can... Do you want to do this or I'll do it? You do it. Okay. I think it's, it, it gives it something else than just like a gray black effect. Yeah, doesn't that look cool? Mm-hmm. Oh, now it does. Yeah. Awesome. It looks good. Here, let me do the edges now. Okay, hold on one second. I just, this, I feel like this is a little muddy. a little more white in here to make it less muddy.
You don't really get any tacky. It looks really good. Do you have like a happy hour came out? I wish there was a little more silver. Like, like whatever. Yes, we need to pop all the bubbles. Do you think this looks muddy or it looks... No, it looks fine. Okay. Alright, I'll leave it alone. You got the tweezers? What's that? The tweezers? The tweezers, right there. Right here. I saw that one. Oh, and I saw another one right there too. <laughs> right there. Right there. See it right there? Oh, I don't know something so on there. Oh, okay. the roller. as hot as it gets. takes up whatever is there, then the heat makes it flat. If it's from the roller.
They're not bad for the first time. And I embedded the wire slot in there, which we end, I ended up just painting. Now that the top is done, let's see about making a coaster. Just using whatever random resin we have left. Ooh, maybe not the white. <laughs> it's really gloppy. That's fine. But see, it's a silicon mold. And the resin self-leveling, so it'll just go in and level itself up. Want to do the white? Pour the white in there. Okay. It's not going to hurt it. I'm not saying it's going to hurt it. It's just. more and not to the top. Oh, I know, it's still got to rise though because it's closer to this side. Have the heat gun still. What's that? The heat gun. Does this will actually have bubbles? <laughs> yeah. So whatever. Okay. Now 
All right, here's the coasters we made. They just have to be sanded down a little bit on these edge, but to, to see the actual silicon mold, you actually pour it in upside down. When you pull it out, that's this is the bottom. So you got that recess there. Same with, see, it's a tiny recess on this one. And then the square. See, so we poured it in that way, thinking that would be the color, but you gotta pour that color first, not last. But you learn. But they're <laughs> rock hard. We did them about like two weeks ago just to try it. Alrighty.